In this video, we are going to talk about how to expand binomial theorem using Pascal's triangle. So as you can see, the given figure is an example of Pascal's triangle. So the first row consists of coefficient 1 and 1. And then the second row consists of 1, 2, and 1 as the coefficient. It's obtained by 1 plus 1, that is 2. And then we write 1 on both sides. And then the third row consists of 1, 3, 3, 1. It's obtained by 1 plus 2, that is 3. 2 plus 1 is 3. And then we write 1 on both sides of the triangle. And then the fourth row consists of 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. It's obtained by adding 1 plus 3 is 4. 3 plus 3 is 6. 3 plus 1 is 4. And so on and so forth. So we are going to use this idea in order for us to expand binomial theorems. So let's start and let's have an example. On number 1, we have x minus 4 square. There are two different ways in solving x minus 4 square. First, you are going to multiply x minus 4 times to itself. That is x minus 4 times x minus 4. So therefore, let us multiply x times x, that is x square. Then, x times negative 4 is negative 4x. Then, negative 4 times x is negative 4x. And then, negative 4 times negative 4 is positive 16. So, to simplify our answer, let us combine like terms. So, we have x squared, negative 4x minus 4x is negative 8x plus 16. So, this will be our final answer. Or, you can solve x minus 4 squared using Pascal's triangle. In Pascal's triangle, we have 1, and then 1, and 1. Then, the second row will be 1. 1 plus 1 is 2, and then 1. So, these are the coefficients that we're going to use in order for us to expand this binomial. So let us write first the given. We have x minus 4 square. And the coefficient that we're going to use is 1, 2, and 1. So x will be the first term. Negative 4 will be the second term. So let us use the first coefficient, which is 1. 1 multiplied by x raised to the highest exponent, which is 2. And then... Second term is negative 4 raised to the lowest exponent, which is 0. Always remember, the first term is raised from highest to lowest exponent. And then the second term is negative 4. It is raised from lowest exponent up to highest exponent. So therefore, our next term is, the coefficient is 2. And then the first term is x. So if we have 2, we're going to raise from highest to lowest. So the exponent of x now becomes 1. And then the second term is negative 4. So from 0, the exponent of negative 4 will be 1. So from highest to lowest, from lowest to highest. Okay? Plus the third coefficient is 1. Then times the first term is x raised to 2, 1, and then 0. And then, negative 4, 0, 1, and then this is 2, the highest exponent. Now, let us simplify our answer. Negative 4 raised to 0 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. x raised to 2, that is x squared. Then, plus x raised to 1 is x times 2 is 2x. Then, negative 4 raised to 1 is negative 4. Plus, x raised to 0 is 1. Any number or any coefficient raised to 0 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. Times negative 4 raised to 2 is 16. Then, to simplify our answer, we have now... 1x squared, that is simply x squared. Then, 
2x times negative 4 is negative 8x plus 1 times 16 is 16. So therefore, our final answer is x squared minus 8x plus 16. As you can see, we are going to come up with the same answer. So let's have another example. On number 2, we have x minus 2 raised to 3. So this time, we are going to solve this one using Pascal's triangle. First, let us determine the coefficient that we're going to use to expand this binomial. So in Pascal's triangle, we have 1, and then 1 on both sides on the first row. And then on the second row, we have 1. 1 plus 1 is 2, and then 1. And then the third row will be 1. 1 plus 2 is 3. 2 plus 1 is 3, and then 1. So these are the coefficients that we're going to use to expand this binomial. So we have x minus 2 raised to 3. The coefficients are 1, 3, 3, and 1. So the first term is x, second term is negative 2. The first term is being raised from highest exponent down to the lowest exponent. The second term will be raised from the lowest exponent down to the highest exponent. So let us write the coefficient that is 1. Then the first term is x raised to 3. Second term is negative 2 raised to the lowest exponent, 0. Then, second term will be 3 coefficient times x. Then, if the first term x is raised by 3, this time x raised by 2. Then, negative 2. So this time, negative 2 is being raised from 1. So from 0 up to 1. Then the third coefficient is 3 times the first term is x. This time the exponent of x is 1. That is 3, 2, 1. And then the second term is negative 2. It is raised by 0, 1, and this time 2. Plus the, the last coefficient is 1 times the first term is x. So this time, what will be the exponent of x? That is 3, 2, 1. So that is 0. And then we have negative 2. So this time, negative 2 is raised from the highest exponent, which is 3. That is 0, 1, 2, 3. Now, let us simplify our answer. Negative 2 raised to 0 is 1. So 1 times 1 is 1 times x raised to 3 is x cubed plus 3 times x raised to 2, that is 3x squared, times negative 2 raised to 1 is negative 2, plus x raised to 1 is x times 3. That is 3x. Then negative 2 multiplied by itself or negative 2 raised to 2, that is positive 4. Plus x raised to 0 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. Then negative 2 raised to 3, that is negative 8. You are going to multiply negative 2 3 times to itself. Then to simplify our answer, we have... 1 times x cubed, that is simply x cubed. Then, negative 2 times positive 3 is negative 6. x squared. Then, 3x times 4x, or 4 rather, that is 12x. Then, 1 times negative 8 is negative 8. So, this will be our final Answer that is x cubed minus 6x squared plus 12x minus 8. So let's have another example. On number 3, we have 2x plus 3y raised to 4. So in order for us to solve this expression, we are going to use Pascal triangle that is 1 and then 1 and 1 on the first row. The second row consists of 1, 
1 plus 1 is 2, and then 1. The third row is 1, 1 plus 2 is 3, 2 plus 1 is 3, and then 1. And then the fourth row, that is 1, 1 plus 3 is 4, 3 plus 3 is 6, 3 plus 1 is 4, and then 1. So these are the coefficients that we're going to use in order for us to solve this expression. So let us write first the coefficients. That is 1, 4, 6, 4, and 1. So the first term is 2x. The second term is 3y. The first term is re being raised from the highest exponent down to the lowest exponent. The second term is 3y. It is raised from 0 up to 4 or from lowest to highest. So we have 1. The first term is 2x raised to 4. Then the second term is 3y raised to 0. Then the second term, the coefficient is 4. Then the first term is 2x. So this time, the exponent of 2x is 3, from 4 down to 3. And then the second term is 3y. This time, the exponent of 3y is 1, from 0, 1. Then, the coefficient on the third term is 6, times the first term, which is 2x. The exponent of 2x now is 4, 3, that is 2. Then, 3y, that is 0, 1, and 2. Then, 4 will be the coefficient of the fourth term. 2x raised to 4, 3, 2, then 1. Then, 3y raised to from 3, or from 2, that becomes 3. Plus, 1, 2x, raised to 4, 3, 2, 1, raised to 0. Then, 3y, raised to 4. Now, let us simplify our answer. 3y, raised to 0 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. Then, 2 raised to 4, that is 2 multiplied 4 times to itself. That is 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. So that is 16x raised to 4. Then, 3y raised to 1, that is 3y, times 4. Or you can write as 4 times 2 raised to 3, that is 8 x raised to 3, that is x cubed, times 3y raised to 1, that is 3y. Plus, we have 6, 2 raised to 2, that is 4, x raised to 2, that is x squared, times 3 raised to 2, that is 9, times y squared. Plus, 4, times 2x raised to 1, that is 2x. Then 3 raised to 3, that is 27. Y raised to 3. Plus 2x raised to 0, that is 1. Times 1, that is 1. Then 3 raised to 4, that is 3 times 3, 9. 9 times 3, 27. 27 times 3, that is 81. And then y raised to 4, that is y raised to 4. Now, let us simplify our answer. So, our final answer is 1 times 16 is 16, x raised to 4. And then, 4 times 8, that is 32, times 3, that is 90. 6 x cubed y plus 6 times 4 is 24. 24 times 9 is 216 x square y square 
plus 4 times 2, 8. 8 times 27 is 216 xy cube. Then, 1 times 81, that is 81y raised to 4. So, this will be our final answer. That is 16x raised to 4 plus 96x cube y plus 216x square y square plus 216x y cube plus 81y raised to 4.